Hello, viewers and friends. Quick update on these shortwave LEDs. Uh, good news and bad news. Good news is that everything you're seeing in front of you right now is being lit by a 258 nanometer LED. Uh, I finally found a company that would be willing to work with me and produce these LEDs. Uh, so it's much better for the hobby than uh, the previous other options. And as you can see, these were some of the uh, minerals that I had been having trouble with, uh, my reference materials, if you will, with uh, other wavelengths. I'll give you a quick example. So let's see. This one is 275 nanometers, and it's a very, very common uh, UVC frequency. But as you can see, it barely activates the... Uh, calcites on these uh, Swedish minerals. And you can see the sphabite there. It, it activates, but practically no effect on calcites, which for such a common material, common mineral was absolutely unacceptable for me. The same with this hardy stenite. Uh, can't, tell, can't tell on the camera, but uh, in real life it, it practically has no effect. You have to put it like right next to it just to see just to see it starting to have an effect, but the colors are just off. And back to calcites, like, there are calcites on this, as you saw earlier. But, uh, let's see, there you go, you can see them with the 250, 258 nanometers. But again, the 275 just does not activate them. Same with these uh, hydrozincites from uh, Good Springs. There you go, it's in focus. Uh, you can see they're kind of whitish, which is just completely wrong. They're actually supposed to be blue. So, just a, not a very good, frequ good frequency for this hobby. Uh, very good for germicidal purposes, I'm sure. Uh, another frequency that I was messing around with, oops, my 255 still, there you go, is uh, 265, which it's, it's another common uh, frequency found, found in the uh, UVC market. And uh, as you can see, pretty good rendition. The calcites are... Eh, I find them in real life to not be as rich of a color. You can see this kind of like... The red is barely showing. And on this piece, it doesn't really show up at all. So... This is kind of why I, I ditched the uh, 265 and why I'm so excited to uh, be working with this new manufacturer. Calcites. Calcites are an interesting story, especially on these two pieces. Now you can barely see that there's there, so it does activate them, but nowhere near as well as these new LEDs. And hydrozincites. It's better. So Slightly whiter hue, like a little bit closer to that 275, but not quite the blue that you would expect. And then this piece is from Greenland, and under mid wave it would be white, under short wave it's pink. And you can see with this 265, it's kind of somewhere in the middle. Uh, with the 275, it would be much closer to white. But, with the 255 nanometer LEDs, the problem has finally been solved, and it is about the same pink uh, that I would expect from a shortwave bulb. So, the bad news is that these have to be custom made, and there's going to be a lot of delays. Uh, I'm expecting at least five months delay. So, I was, I was shooting for a deadline of June, but it looks more like uh, I'm probably going to try getting it, getting out a product just before the next uh, Tucson show in January 2019. So thank you for uh, sticking around and I hope this makes you as excited uh, about the future as it does for me.